Hey guys, welcome to Star Citizen with your host Von Klaus. Um, I'm currently talking to a friend who's on Skype. Uh, so <clears throat> you might hear some beeps going on in the background. As they're chatting. Um, it's actually Star Tafari. Uh, but he's not online or in the game currently. Um, so. Uh, I'm in Lorville. That's my primary residence. Um. I'm just logging in. And basically, I thought we would just do a bunker run mission. I don't know if people have kind of explained bunkers and how they operate, or if people's even watched it. Uh... Doggo just ran outside. She going out to see if the cats are out yet. So basically, oh, okay. Uh, let's get out of bed. light out okay so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do what's called a bunker mission uh, bunker missions are a contract available tracker training permit that is for Doing uh, bounty hunter missions. I haven't done that since they reset not too long ago. When they reset, they reset the certificates also. So I lost all my progress um, that I had made in my in my Moby Glass. So, and basically you go here to Delphi, and this is your, your alliances, and this tells you where you stand with them. Uh, and you could either be very evil towards them, or very good towards them, and the more you do for them, the better off you are. Now, that being said, um, because they reset all of this, I have to start back off as an applicant um, in my security, which is here. And I've actually, you can see that I'm tier one now, which is a trainee. Uh, I've already passed my applicant. I'm a tier one in Hurston security. Um, now, civil defense, I'm still an applicant. Which civil defense is your bounty hunter missions. Um, now, what we're going to do is, and that's what... Uh, the delivery, that is the starting mission for delivery, which is Red Wind seeking new pilots, uh, doing racing, spaceship time trials, uh, research, this is applying for research assistance, investigations, uh, 
um, collection to disposal, uh, bounty hunting is the tracking training permit certificate. Once you do this, and you'll notice that you get no EUC for it. So, this one you get 3,000 payment, but this you get nothing. But once you complete this one, matter of fact, you have to pay to do it. But once you complete that one, you do get uh, more. So, basically, in the mercenary missions, I have opened it up to where I have three now. Um, and basically, this is the lower one. That these are the ones I usually do. The halt the illegal surveillance is you have to go to a comms array and the three monitors hidden over at the array and around it you have to destroy those monitors. And yes, you get five thousand more for doing it, but it's also a lot harder. Um, and to me, it's not really, it's not really that interesting. I actually enjoy doing the ones that are bunker missions. So, we're going to take this mission. A call to arms basically gives me 500 EUC more for each kill that I do. So they're going to pay me uh, a reward of 500 EUC per outlaw that I kill. Okay? And so you want to take that one and then you want to go back to general and you want to take defending the site. So we'll, we'll accept this one. And then you want to make sure, because that's the first one we took, was a call to arms. Um, we want to make sure that one's clicked and we click tracking on it. To where this changes to assist in defending site. We don't need to see a call to arms. But we do need to see where we have to go for that mission, uh, which is currently located 1,445 uh, kilometers that way. So... Uh, excuse you. Are you Are you standing at my door eavesdropping? Get out of here. Nasty freak. That is a player who's died and they are stuck. They lost their gear. So now, if they were doing a bunker mission, they could go to that bunker and retrieve their gear. Uh, as long as there's no glitches, and their corpse didn't fall through the floor, or some kind of goofy crap like that. Ground floor we go. Now we do, mind you, it's not just to go out of the habitat across the hall, get your ship, and you're gone. This is a whole big old space station. So, 
Mind you, we have to go from the habitats across the space station to the tram, from the tram to the actual Welcome to Metro spaceport. Metro. Don't close yet. Ooh, just didn't make it. That might have been that person that we saw at the habitat. Uh, that guy there. That's an actual player. Um, but that person may have been the one who's dead. Or who was dead, because if you notice, his gear is very, very basic. And unlike mine, unlike mine, he has no weapons, no nothing, no actual armor. Now arriving, Pizza Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. Uh, what does that say? Trespassing or attempting to trespass on train tracks is a serious and dangerous offense. So he's headed to the spaceport probably to go get his corpse back. So he's going to head to whatever bunker he died at. Okay, so we are going to, I don't know why my, why did my anvil arrow get destroyed? Huh. Oops. Claim. Your insurance claim has been sent. Yeah. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Oops, not what I wanted. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Alright, so let's go ahead and retrieve my vehicle Pisces. Selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has your been vehicle has been location. 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 Okay, hangar eight. Run around here, grab an elevator. And head to eight. And then we'll take off and head to where we got to go to do this mission. Now, this is a tiny ship, guys. It is pretty small. But honestly, it does pack a punch at the same time. And, on top of that, it is a medical ship. Which means I have my own... Ambulance, basically. As I lay in that bed, you'll watch my health and drink and everything. If I lie down, you'll watch my health and drink and everything will start climbing. That's them giving me bodily fluids.
and then I just click Y to get back out of the bed. Now that I'm full of fluids, jump in the seat. And we want to go to Lorville and we want to request you are here to launch. So now they'll open the roof. So we'll get up to 10,000. Once we get up to 10,000, all of those red diamonds, you'll see a bunch of them turn blue. And that means that we can now quantum jump to wherever we need to go. Now our mission is down this way. So this is where we want to go. And we'll wait on it. Oh, lost my target. And then we'll quantum jump to the target. Now, I don't know. We might be coming in during nighttime. We could be coming in during daytime on that side of the planet. We'll know once we get to that location. And it looks like it's on the dark side of the planet. That means we're going to have to come in at night time. So I might as well turn on my lights. I will slow down some since we're getting a little closer. starting to see the towers so we'll go ahead and put our landing gear down I think I said towers I meant turrets Now 
Now you can see the ground starting to slowly come into view along with the complex. And we'll have to figure out which side the door is on. It's not on this side. It's on the other side. We're on the back side. So we need to come across. Oh, security's attacking those guys. And then we'll just kind of do a flip and then drop down for the landing. Landing complete. <clears throat> Engines All right, then we want to turn off our Oh, what am I hitting? I don't know what that is. Get out the way. All right. So you can see we're pretty close to the door. All right, so now we'll go down. We need to pull out our weapon. Why do you do that? That's an enemy guy right there. Missed him. What the heck are you shooting at?
That hurt a little bit. Gave away my position to that guy. I took a round. Five of them left. Four. Three. Two. Ow! Woo! I almost died. Almost done. That's how quick it can be. There's one left. I'm gonna die. There we go. All right, so I got them all. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my medical ship. Uh, let's see. What can I loot out of here? Put that. Oh, got a tractor beam. Hello. Ah, I don't want no combat knife. All right, let's go. Let's go up to my ship real quick. Oh, we got another case right there. Let's go ahead and get all of the weapons off of me. We'll look around, and make sure there's no ships in the current area. Yep, I don't see any. All right. So we're going to put that there. That there, that, 
that, that, that, these. I had to use one of those, so we're going to put that one there. All right. Now, I currently have no weapons on me. Everything is, but that's fine because I'm going to grab some weapons from down there. See what we got here. I'll take these. Uh, I really don't need anything else out of here for now. Uh, and there's nothing else in here except that. Oh. Let's see what that guy has. Nothing really. Oops. That was the expended one I used. That's a carnal rifle, I believe. Yeah. So I'll check and see what else is available. Before I make a pick, because there should be a red crate somewhere. Unless I see an FS9, if I see an FS9, I'm going to grab it. So far, I don't see one. At least not in this gaggle of weapons here. Alright, so let's go up. There's one there. This is the one I need. So let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. A missile launcher. And some missiles. Okay. I will take that. I'll take this salvo pistol too. I don't have one currently on me. Uh, and we'll put that ammo there. I guess I can hang on to that gamma site. See, the only bad thing is, if I take this, it won't let me load it, because there's not enough space in my backpack. 
Security must have killed these guys. don't see anything else uh, except the Karn rifles so I'm gonna equip that one that's a shotgun and I don't want a shotgun That's pretty much it, guys. There really wasn't that much here as far as good weapons. Uh, I mean, at least in my personal opinion. I need to find out who has the, the rounds... P4. P8 mag P4 Okay, I know there is another corner rifle. I saw it. Somebody's got it. Oh, it's right there. See, these guys have no freaking weapons, though. That's what I don't understand. I mean, no ammo. Alright, let's just call it good, drop off what we got. And then we'll get airborne and get out of here. And then I'll get my medical bed, fix myself.
I did get a couple of good weapons, though, out of this. Put my weapons back on. And that'll pretty much do it. Let's let's get out of here. And we'll get to where we're not trespassing. Healed our injuries. go back to Lorville because we need to empty out our ship. We'll be coming in Lorville during the daylight hours.
Oh. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Hey, they assigned us the landing bay. All right. So it's going to be this away. Before we get out of the ship, we want to go to inventory, and we want to move the stuff from the, the vehicle over to Lorville. That's pretty much it. Now everything's housed in Lordville and not on my ship, so if my ship gets destroyed, I don't lose anything. Everything's here.
the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Now we'll tell it to store my ship. There we go. Please visit us again. Goodbye. So now, now the ship is stored. And that's it. We completed a bunker mission. But, see, if you guys saw how quick that we can get shot, we can lose health and die in one of these missions, they can be very brutal. Um, I was just lucky I was quick enough before I bled out to be able to stab myself with a healing vial. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. A stem, a healing stem, uh, in order to bring my health back enough to keep from dying. And I was able to complete the mission. So no big deal. But anyway, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will come back and see you next episode. Peace out, everybody.